Hello game fans and welcome to another tech review from Gaming Debugged. The Fifine Amplagame microphone is a USB plug and play mic that comes set up and ready to use straight from the box. I have been using it on PC but it works on Mac and consoles as well. Of course it was the powder pink finish and the internal LED lights that drew me to it, but the big question is, is it any good? Here's my review of the Fifine A8 gaming mic. Straight out of the box you have two USB cables and a mic arm adapter giving it great versatility. Similarly the shock mount and desk stand comes pre-assembled so it's ideal for those looking to get started quickly. The shock mount is particularly interesting as many mics in this price range have mounts that are screwed into the bottom of the mic with a nut, however the Amplagain A8 is attached via these elastic rubber bands giving it this cool little jiggle jiggle as well as keeping unwanted vibrations from making their way into your videos. The look of the AA Ampli game is fantastic, from its smiling pop filter to its powder pink colour, but this comes at a price. The whole body is made of plastic, which makes it feel light and a little cheap compared to the heavy metal body of the Yeti for example. But when it's on your desk and matches your gaming setup, the weight will be a forgotten memory. Its small footprint and overall profile means it can fit neatly onto your streaming window without covering your player's face. The LED lighting inside is subtle but works well and streamers can choose from a rainbow of colours or a particular setting to match your gaming setup. The pop filter is removable and quite thick which is handy for stopping those pesky air jets whilst talking. In terms of controls there is little to talk about. It's a cardioid only mic and does not switch to omnidirectional like many others meaning that this mic has to be pointing at you in order to get the best sound. On the top of the mic is a simple mute button with lights to show when it's on and off and underneath there is a volume knob to twist on the fly. For those looking to endlessly tweak the gain and other audio enhancements this one is probably not for you. The Ampli game is a simple beast. On, off, loud or quiet. I like things simple. The 3.5mm headphone jack allows for latency free monitoring, allowing users to hear what the watchers or listeners hear as well and will allow you to alter on the fly. Plus it goes with these beautifully pink Edifier headphones. When it comes to sound quality, a soft tone is the best way to describe the output of the Ampli game. So whether you're shouting to your teammates in Warzone, part of a chatty podcast or working from home, this mic sort of shaves off the hard edges of your voice and gives you a more rounded, soft kind of output. According to the spec, the frequencies below 200MHz are less sensitive to reduce the rumbling sound from a vibration of a desk or a laptop fan. To make things better, the treble is high enough to capture a bit more details of your voice. It can't compete with the high-end mics but for the price it works well. The combination of low cut frequency response and decent mid and high tones makes the general sound output great for the price. For the comparison tests I use the Joby Wavo pod mic. It's a little bit more expensive but it held up well against the various sound tests however it's worth noting that the Joby has more technical features. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. A noisy noise, a noise an oyster. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? This is the fee fine version. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Overall, the Fee Fine Ampli game is a great starter mic for under $50. The lighting and colour choices are fantastic, and its small profile and footprint means it won't dominate your desk. As it's only cardioid, it can't really be your only podcasting mic. However, the plug-in and play nature and limited controls means it's great for beginners looking to start their streaming, podcasting or YouTube careers. Powder pink microphones and smiling pop filters won't be for everyone, but personally I think it's pretty cute and very bold. The sound quality is good and takes the edge off your voice, but limited controls means that any other tweaks will need to be done in post-production. This is a great little mic for under $50. If this review has been useful then please give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with another tech review very soon. Finish him.